pain is caused by stress. Uh, that sounds stress, but then we have to have the HMT definition of stress. And there are many different kinds of stress. The first stress would be physical stress. Let's say I was in a car accident when I was 18 years old. Uh, some of my tissue never really got treated right. I have scar tissue, I have tension, I have poor circulation. Maybe I had a fracture, maybe I need to have a surgery. Things are not exactly as good as they used to be. So I have the, the drops of physical stress filling up this cup here. Okay. What about if I have a poor diet? I don't eat enough of what I need, or I eat too much of what I don't need, or I have drugs, uh, or stuff too much drugs or chemicals, or I don't drink enough water. Well, that's another form of stress. As a matter of fact, any time a person ha it has some kind of overweight, their body is not in completely harmony. Their metabolism is not complete harmony. So what we're talking about is that everyone has stress, but how much stress do we have and how much can we take? So we have the physical stress. We have the nutritional stress. Then we have the environmental stress. If I go out and it's freezing cold and I don't have good enough clothes on me, I'm going to get sick. You know, if it's too hot, too cold, too wet, too dry, my body reacts to it. In winter time, for example, when we're indoors, a lot of us get dry skin because of air condition and, and heaters are on, and we don't, don't get enough humidity, so the skin gets dry. That's a sign of stress to the body. So we have, we have climate, and then we have envir environment. Environment being viruses, bacteria, allergens. So each one of those add another drop. We got the climate. We got the, uh, the bacteria and viruses that are around us. And now comes the biggest factor of all, which is the mental emotional factor. Mental emotional factor is, is ongoing or past unresolved emotional strain. So for example, if a person keeps repeating the same pattern, and as Einstein said, insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expect a different outcome. So what they are doing is they're stuck in a pattern, they keep repeating the same pattern. And what happened with this now is that builds up tension. So you got the mental emotional stress. And for example, the person starts believing in stressful thoughts. For example, if you believe, I have to do this, but I don't want to. How do you feel if you have to do something you don't want to do? It? You're going to be angry. What if you believe, so if you're doing something that you have to do, and you think you have to do it, and you're still doing it, you're going to be angry. It's going to build up tension. What if you believe, oh, this is never going to work out? You're in a work that you don't enjoy. You've been married for 15 years and it's not working. If you say to yourself, this is not going to work, and you believe it's not going to work, how are you going to feel? Or what if something didn't happen the way you expected it to and it didn't work out, and you said, this should not happen, this is not right? But it happened. Well, I can't accept that it happened. Then you're stressed out. If you don't accept yourself, I'm stupid, I should have done this, I'm never good enough, I suck, I'm a loser, I'm fat, whatever. If you believe that, you're going to be stressed. If you believe that I can't rest until I'm all done, and you're never all done, then you can never rest then you're going to be stressed. People don't realize that the mailbox will never be empty. It just keeps filling up, you know? Or what if I believe I have too much stuff going on right now, I have to do it all right now, then I'm going to be stressed. So all of those factors, they're causing emotions that are either suppressed or expressed, and now eventually the cup runs over. And that's when we feel pain. 